God, I just realized that I've been muted this entire time. I will reintroduce myself. My name is Jeff H3962, and I do apologize for my little blunder right there. Uh, this is Heat 1 of Race 4. Currently, We currently have Shazzle 4 in first place, followed by Castlefied, Papa Slaunch, Edward, and Gogeta Rules. They all have transfer spots going in directly into the main event, but... It looks like Real Deal is going to start to get around Pancake Muffin and Gogeta Rules when Gogeta Rules goes face first into a berm. I again do apologize for having my microphone muted. I, I don't remember pressing that button. It must have, uh, must have just happened. But in case you are uh, new to the stream, HD Supercross is run in three different types of races. Uh, we have two qualifiers and one race that, that, that counts for the big points. So we have our heat races, our last chance qualifiers, and our main event. The heat races and last chance qualifiers are what get you into the main event. And in heat one, the top five move on to qualify. This is an eight lap race and currently Shazzle is sitting in first and we have a battle for second place between Castle, Slaunch, and Edward. The castle is gaining a little bit of ground on him. He's uh, he's getting some better runs through that whip section. I've noticed. And I, I I mentioned last week that if that if you're battling with people, you tend to race a little bit slower, and you can see that that's definitely the case because Shazzle is starting to gain more ground on Castlefied Slaunch and King Edward. Papa Slaunch is actually part of a new team. That was made just a few days before this race, but that new team member goes a little crazy on that rock section, and he's going to be challenged by King Edward, who overtakes him on the first jump section of Deep Eclipse. This is a shorter track. Not exactly how long this track is, but it's definitely... Well, it's I wouldn't say definitely, but it might be the shortest track that we race in Season 7. Now, Castlefied, uh, Shazzle. Oh, Castlefied goes down on the finish line. I didn't really see what happened right there, but that was pretty crazy. It's definitely not a good thing. You don't want to do that a whole lot. But uh, Castlefied should still be in qualifying position as King Edward moves into second place from Castle's Blunder. They go over the rhythm section into the second jump section of Deep Eclipse SX. This is a track made by King Edward. He's made a lot of fantastic tracks in HT Supercross since Season 6, and we're really glad to have his forging skills on Halo tracks, and especially in HT Supercross. 
Which Azel has uh, finished the race. He will be the first qualifier in in the main event. Uh, if we did gate picks, he'd, he'd definitely be the first one. But we don't do gate picks in this. You kind of just have to get lucky where you spawn, but it also depends on how fast your reflexes are coming out of the gate. So Shazzle qualifies for the main event. I will go down and read you off the rest of them. King Edward in second place. This is Papa Slaunch in third. A rookie to HC Supercross. This is his very first race. Pancake Muffin qualifies and Castle Fight also qualifies. Race 2 winner Gogeta Rules of Geico Honda is not saving a whole lot of money on car insurance right now and he'll go to the last chance qualifier. Real Deal will follow him as well as Ponage, Noodles, and Distilled Tech. We'll be right back. The last chance qualifier and with my mic not muted. I promise. So I mentioned uh, earlier that we have not seen a repeat winner. Pancake won race one, Gogeta race two, and Soda Pop race three. So we could see our first repeat this race. Anything's possible. All right, here we go. Last chance qualifier, round two. Balls on the wall and or table. And as always, I will head to my designated talking guy area with a spawn that's a little bit closer. That'll help keep things a little more fair. I wish that there was a way for designated talking guys to uh, go to their spot, but we're looking over the whole shot right now. Real Deal gets another gate drop. Yeah, he anticipated the gate and gets another whole shot this race. Gogeta Rules is once again behind him. Uh, Dinosaur was in second place before the race restart, but it looks like uh, the positions are relatively the same, uh, with the exception of Purple Dinosaur, who is behind teammate Gogeta Rules right now. Oh, Gogeta went to uh, went for Real Deal's inside right there, but was stymied by by Real Deal protecting himself on that. Top two qualify go on to the main event. Uh, we have three team members of Geico Honda right now that are all going to be pushing as hard as they can to make sure that at least two of their guys qualify for the main event. So they're going to want to hold off real deal, find a way to slow him down without wrecking him. Gogeta Rules is starting to make some moves on real deal as he tried to cut across his inside right there, but uh, was... Was not successful in doing that. Purple Dinosaur is going to hit the wall a little bit. He's going to case the rest of the jumps on this rhythm section. It's real deal. And Gogeta have first and second place. Currently all of themselves. Gogeta on the inside passes real deal for first place. If As long as Purple Dinosaur can come back and catch real deal and pass him, Geico Honda can have two team members in this main event. But he's going to need to catch real deal and overtake him and then hold it off until lap six. Last chance qualifier ends on lap six. If anyone lags out right now, then we will continue racing and do a staggered start if that person is, in, is invited back. Purple is gaining a little bit of ground on real deal right here. As they go over the finish line and this last chance qualifier is halfway over, Purple's gonna have to uh, have a pretty, pretty fast line. In, in order to overtake Real Deal, who is a solid racer for Muscle Milk KTM, but he's not going to have a good run over that whoop section and pass by Purple Dinosaur. 
Purple went behind the finish line marker, uh, but he did pass Real Deal, and he passed him cleanly, and that puts Geico Honda in first and second place transfer positions. Unrealistic is following BXA Real Deal D, also known as Smooth Moves, on Halotracks.org. And uh, he's, uh, he's back on Purple's tail right now. Purple needs to hold him off for another two laps. He gets... He gets a better run through the rock section than Real Deal, and that, that'll help him out. As long as he can get over this whoop section cleanly, and he does not have a good run, but Real Deal seems to uh, not, not have the cleanest run uh, either, so he's not going to gain too much ground on Purple Dinosaur, and he's going to have to make something up on the last lap. As long as Purple gets over this rhythm section cleanly, which he does. And in first place is Gogeta Rules by a mile or two or ten. But he is a section and a half, about a section and a half ahead. Actually, exactly a section and a half ahead as Real Deal and Purple Dinosaur are in a final battle for second place. Real Deal gets a better run through those whoops. He's going to try to make an inside move on Purple Dinosaur in this triple and does not get it so Purple is gonna have to just hold off Real Deal over the last lap he goes over the triple Real Deal overtakes him this could put him back in second place and in a qualifying position Real Deal with an insane last lap pass after Purple cases the triple heads into the main event that is an upset for Geico Honda as they only get one team member in this main event. That is an upset, ladies and gentlemen. On the last turn, Purple Dinosaur cases the triple and loses his position to Real Deal. Gogeta rules and BXA Real Deal D. Gogeta of Geico Honda and Real Deal of Muscle Milk KTM head on to the main event. Purple Dinosaur, Unreal. Uh, be prepared, the mongooses will be quite loud at the start, so turn down your Twitch uh, volume until we get to uh, uh, to our booths. We don't know any law lawsuits on our hands here. As soon as we get through the teleporter, you'll be fine to turn up your volume a little bit again. Great. I've been noticing that um, the pro racers are so so called them always like to get off of their mongooses at the start of the race and so I asked them what that was all about and they said they want to have their horns working they like honking their horns going out of the gate real deal takes another hole shot with Gogeta of Geico Honda the second place actually the first place winner in the last chance qualifier trailing closely behind him but being 0-5 of main event guaranteed currently sits in fourth place as he uh, seeks to 
gained the, uh, the ground that he lost, casing the second jump section back up to NJD. Uh, and we do have a three-way battle right out of the gate for first place as we end lap one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is race four of HT Supercross in our 17-week season. As Gogeta rolls, makes an inside pass on real deal and does not give him enough room right there. Oh, that could be an intentional his race wreck. is over. His race is over. Oh my, that is a terrible wreck. Gogeta rolls, moves into first place, but will more than likely have a major intentional wreck and that would uh, negate that first place and move him down to the equivalent of a third place position. So to ensure that he's not going down too many points, he's going to need to uh, hold his ground on NJD as Turkey Shot, Shazzle, and Soda, of uh, both of them were on the winning team last year of Yoshimura Suzuki. Uh, this is Pancake Muffin currently passing Soda Pop for what is this purple fifth place, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, looks like uh, probably lesser than that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're right. So you know, this what is... I'm looking for, we're we're probably going to see here a movement from uh, with Shazzle and Soda Pop to the front of the pack as they always seem to do. Uh, Soda Pop currently is a. Uh... I'm actually not too sure what his plus minus is. Purple, do you uh, remember what is this? Uh, definitely positive. Soda Pop had the highest plus minus rating at the end of the season, so that suggests that he does not get uh, the best of starts, but he works his way back up through the pack and regains positions as his teammate Shazzle4 is starting to look to make some moves on Turkey Shot and Bean of main event guaranteed. Turkey Shot is a part of a brand new team. Oh, and trying that oh. inside. <laughs> Does not pan out for Shazzle at all, and Bean is collateral from that decision. Tries to hold Turkey uh, honest on that inside, but Turkey definitely uh, remained honest, for lack of a better word. Yeah, Soda Pop. We have, we have Office sandwiched in between two Monster Energy. Oh, nope. It looks like we have uh, Shazzle actually fell behind. Shazzle landed on someone to look like at the end of that triple. Castle fight. Oh, hits the tail end of Shazzle. Not really Shazzle's fault, but that will send him down a few positions. His main event, guaranteed rider Bean, is currently sitting uh, just one position away from the top five. Actually, uh, two positions away from the top five. Gogeta rolls and NJD, who have a commanding lead. They're uh, they're a section, a full section ahead of everyone else in first and second place right now. NJD uh, has only completed, I, I believe, one race uh, so far for this season. And if he could get a win right here, then that would increase HT Supercross's streak of ne of not having a repeat winner. But if Gogeta can hold on. For 14 more laps, then we will have our first repeat winner. Though, keep in mind that he could have a major intentional wreck. It uh, looks like we're seeing a demonstration of what I said earlier, where the whole shot is king. Looks like BXA Real Deal has a very commanding lead here. How far away is Gogeta? Gogeta lost tons of ground. Oh, no, oh wait. BXA is, actually, BXA is actually in last. Oh, I'm sorry. So BXA, said he had a terrible wreck in the beginning of the race. He's now almost being lapped by first place. Gogeta and JD, who are demonstrations of our whole shot victors, are now committed to front of third place Soda Pod. It's never really a good thing to uh, be overtaken while being a lap down by the guy who was the reason that you uh, that you're down that far. And as we look towards the mid middle of the race, uh, Shazzle 4 has lost a few positions. Uh, that was off of an earlier move he tried to make on Turkey Shot that didn't work out very well for him. But Soda Pop and uh, Soda Pop has overtaken Pancake. He's going to have his sights set on NJD and hopefully getting as close to Gogeta rules as possible and attempt to make a a late race pass on him. Uh, NJD does not have a good run through that whoop section at all, and Soda Pop is going to gain a lot of ground Ooh. on him. Pancake as well. 
Looks like NJD has lost his uh, first lap lead. Ooh, he almost cases that jump. And looks like Soda, Soda now is that going. much closer. He gets taken out by his teammate. He just fell off of the other section. Yeah, so pancake and off like of battle NGD right now. Still in front. So the pop is starting to gain even more ground on NJD. And he should be able to uh, start thinking about making a pass as long as he can keep this up. He seems to be a little bit faster on this track right now. Uh, Soda Pop won our last race. That was the very first race that he won. So, uh, that, that he's won so far this season. It's possible that he could win more, but it's also possible that he doesn't win any more. Anything is possible in Season 7. We have a lot of competition. And it looks like almost both of them always, are about... Almost as always, we have Soda Pop and Pancake right next to each other. I mean, they're they are two of the more dominant forces in ACC Supercross, although we do have a widespread range of talent. Pancake Muffin and Soda Pop always seem to be right next to each other fighting for their almost always top three positions. Pancake Muffin is the leader of your current leading team in HD Supercross, Rockstar Racing Rockstar Energy Racing KTM. And uh, he's he's gotten a little bit closer to Soda Pop, but Soda Pop has also gotten a little bit closer to NJD, so it looks like we're uh, we're really close, and we have the workings of a three-way battle for second place set to begin. As long as Soda Pop can keep holding on, as well as Pancake, and NJD needs to start uh, start improving his line a little bit uh, to hopefully gain as much ground on Soda Pop and Pancake as possible before he comes up on Lap Rider BXA Real Deal D, uh, who is his teammate of Monster. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, of uh, Muscle Milk KTM. Real Deal is going to pull off the berm right there, more than likely a blue flag. It looks like first place is almost gone here. Gogeta rules almost three sections ahead of second place. So almost we almost have a guaranteed win here for Guy Gohanda. This will be uh, our only remaining two, remaining two podium positions are widely in competition here. As soon as people start getting their eight races in and start overruling other positions. The seasons tend to become pretty close. Unfortunately for Soda Pop, he didn't miss one of the first two races, so he is, although he has one of the most, uh, some of the best uh, season averages for his total points, he is only in somewhere near fourth, fourth place. So his, his missing of race two really hurt him here. However, like Jeff was saying, the race, the eight race maximum will really help him when he gets to um, possibly race 10 or race 11 when he can start to catch up. And one way to start doing that is uh, to, gain a, to gain even more ground on NGD that he seems to have lost a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what happened. But in order to increase your chances of winning, it goes without saying that you need to finish high in, in these races. We do not have a gap in points uh, uh, for for finishing in in the top three. It is it is a one point difference between positions all the way down. So first place will always be 14, second 13, and third 12. Uh, it's different from real AMA, and it keeps the competition a little bit closer. Uh, and that's why we've kept it that way. We, uh, we're still keeping an eye on this on this small pack. Soda Pop goes down on the whoops and is overtaken by Pancake Muffin. Well, he I falls into fourth down. place. Soda Pop is going to fall into fourth place. He's going to need to make a pass on Pancake Muffin, which is going to be pretty difficult. Pancake is a really solid racer, and he's proven that by winning race one. And right now, currently sitting in first place on the HD Supercross Season 7 leaderboards. He's going to opt for the outside, and Soda's going to go for the inside, and uh, doesn't really go across that clean. But teammate, uh, Pancake's teammate, sorry, Office1808, has caught up a little bit. 
and he seems to be gaining uh, some extra seconds, some valuable seconds on Soda Pop in the later stages of this race. We're on lap 17 out of 20. Deep Eclipse is a shorter track, so generally the races, uh, well, the, the laps are shorter and the races are going to be shorter. Fujita Rules has currently already overtaken two lappers. He's now past the Turkey Shot and BXA. Oh no, Turkey Shot and Bean for still in first place, however. Always lapping riders really takes tolls on your time and your lap time, so possibly we could see some uh, gains from NJD, Soda Pop, and the likes on Gogeta Rules here as we run two laps. So that is actually looking fairly unlikely. Ojita Rule seems to not be having very many issues getting around those lappers right now. And our uh, fight for second place has uh, been spread out a little bit. NJD and Pancake and Soda are all about equal Mongoose lengths apart, just roughly. They're all going to need to uh, to hold it on, make every jump they can in the fastest way possible. If Soda wants to uh, overtake Pancake for a podium spot, this would be NJD's first podium of the season if he can hold on. As we go into the final lap, Gogeta rolls a commanding lead, an absolutely dominating lead. He's probably out there by at least 20 miles or so. Saying that he's a mile ahead of the competition is probably an understatement. Uh, we have a rider just chilling off that berm right there. Looks like uh, he's throwing in the towel. That could be real deal as Gogeta Rules takes the win in race four, Deep Eclipse, in season seven. He is our first repeat winner this season. The only one. That is that is how close the competition is. Uh, NJD, uh, Pancake, and Soda do not swap positions whatsoever. I am here with the only repeat winner in HT Supercross Season 7 so far. Gogeta Rules of Geico Honda. Gogeta, you seem to have saved some money on car insurance this week. Why, hello there, ladies. Oh yes, Jeff. I guess you could say that. My, my my motorcycle insurance definitely helped. So, what does um, what does saving money on motorcycle insurance like? Like, how does that help? Well, Jeff, it just gives me a supreme confidence while I'm riding on a track. You know, when I'm when other people are riding that are not on Geico Honda. They're just like, oh, I hope I don't wreck, you know, because then the insurance bills will be so high. And, like, I can just go out there, feel confident, and be like, you know what? I'll save on it anyways. Let's just ride. Let's just get this W. Speaking of insurance, I'm sure that Real Deal is going to hope that he has some. Uh, even though you won first place, uh, there's, there's a possibility that that could come back to haunt you. You... Kind of knocked him off the off the track right there. Yes, uh, yes, indeed, uh, Jeff. I uh, didn't mean to. I saw Real Duke get kind of squirrely on the berm before, and he went wide, and I took advantage of it. But then, like, I, I um, I pushed him a little too far wide, and uh, it occurred like it um, it made him go off the track, and it got him stuck. I definitely expect a um, minus two for that as a major intentional wreck. Um, then, like, like the wreck itself wasn't like that big. It was just like, kind of slight, but the result of it was kind of great. So yeah. Yeah, he finished in last or next to last, so that definitely had a huge impact on him. But uh, so far, uh, you're the only member of your team that is podium so far this season. Yeah. Not uh, sorry, Jeff. You're wrong. I understand. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can, Jeff. All right. Um. So far, uh, you're the only member of Geico Honda that has podiumed. Uh, this race in your team seems to be having some issues qualifying. Uh, what What's exactly happening with Geico Honda right now? Well, I would just say we have uh like. Uh, my other riders uh, kind of having a bit of difficulty. 
uh, especially d riding around other riders, because uh, uh, mainly in LCQ or in the heats. Well, that's all the race they put in usually, but they um, have some difficulties, and uh, they usually don't have the best of luck, uh, and uh, they usually get a little bit wrecked. And um, yeah, they are good riders, and I can definitely say that Geico Honda is always a uh, top achiever in LCQ. So, uh, do you guys uh, are you guys working on anything just to uh, improve your chances and in a in at least the heats? Because going to the LCQ, you know, that's never a really comfortable thing. Definitely not. Um, uh, we were planning on doing some more team. Uh, practice. Uh, this would hopefully improve our um, entire team with their racing skills, especially riding around others would be uh, important. But um, besides that, they have the pace. Uh, and um, as you could see from last week, Purple had, if I'm not mistaken, a seventh place, which uh, was pretty good in that race. And uh, I'm sure we can improve over the course of the season. So despite the wreck on real deal, despite that, you're the only repeat winner so far in season seven. What does that do to your confidence level? Well, I'm pretty confident, even though this uh, victory felt like very bittersweet as it just feels like it wasn't, well, I wouldn't say it was not a legitimate win, but I mean, uh, just that very unfortunate that um, I accidentally took out real deal. Um, but I did this play um, good pace, uh, uh, good enough for the win, and uh, pulling away from NJD. Uh, so it was still a good victory, I guess. And it definitely helps the team in the points. And um, I must say, it feels nice to be the repeat winner. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Gogeta Rules. Again, your only repeat winner so far in Season 7. Uh... He's definitely more than capable of bouncing back from what could be a wreck. We'll keep you all updated on that situation. Gogeta, thank you for for coming out to the race and talking uh, talking to me right now. And uh, oh, no good, good luck in race five. With, I hope to see you there. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. We'll see you. Take care. We will get our second place finisher, XNJD1X of Muscle Milk KTM in here. Uh, yeah, Muscle Milk KTM. It's a lot of teams. Sometimes you get kind of thrown off. But uh, Hello, Jeff. Hello. Hi. So I am currently here with your second place finisher. NJD of Muscle Milk KTM. Uh, NJD, yeah, you were battling uh, with Gogeta rules at the beginning of that race, but then you kind of fell behind. What exactly happened? Uh, I think a couple times uh, when I went through the whoops, I got a little careless and fortunately made a couple mistakes, and then he just pulled away. We were pretty much running even pace, so there was basically no way to uh, recover any ground. So it, after that, I just kind of struggled for anything I could hold on to. And having soda pop and pancake uh, hot on your heels, uh, that's probably not not too much of a comforting notion either, is it? Uh, I was kind of worried about those guys, but then it just kind of came. When it was halfway through the race and they were still behind me, I kind of just accepted the fact that we were all running the same pace. None of us can really make any moves. So it just became a little more relaxing. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, NJD does run a daycare, and uh, you you may hear his children in the background. <laughs> we'll be right back with our second place finisher as soon as possible. Yeah, I just want to hurry up. I just All right. Let me get quick. Yeah, oh, yeah. My bad. So, uh, so, so last yeah, question. Yeah, one second. Oh. My bad. Okay, go on. All right, we're good? Okay. So, uh... So how is uh, consuming muscle milk helping you prepare for these races? Uh, it's actually a secret. I don't consume muscle milk. <laughs> oh, we have a conspiracy leave going on. It, leave it in my closet. 
on right um, now. Real Deal didn't have a very, uh, very good race, and I'm sure he's not going to be too thrilled to hear that, NJD. To know that you're not drinking your muscle milk. All right. But anyway, that is your second place finisher, NJD. NJD, thanks for coming out uh, to the race and for talking to me after the race. And I hope to see you in race five. Best of luck next week and take care. Thanks, Jeff. We we have some pretty interesting interviews and in HT Supercross. This will get our third place finisher, Pancake a Muffin. And just to make sure that we don't have any daycares coming back, I will take the liberties and remove NJD. Hello, Pancake. Hello, yeah. All right. So this is our third place finisher in race four in season seven of HT Supercross. I'm Deep Eclipse. SX, Pancake, yeah. welcome. Hi. So uh, you seem to be having some rocky starts so far this season. Um, is that just like a side effect of eating too many muffins in the shape of pancakes or pancakes in the shape of muffins i'm not exactly too sure about no. what that is but i mean i'm starting to rethink our whole pre-morning breakfast routine because if you look how slow we were off the gate i mean it takes a while to get chugging after you've eaten so many carbs in one morning it takes a little bit you gotta get warmed up as as you can see how all of my team has a good plus minus because our starts were so terrible because of all those pancake muffins, but, you know, we got it together. We all finished top eight. That was our team goal for this week, so uh, overall, I'm happy. So, uh, speaking of bad starts, it seems that you didn't get the most stellar of of starts, but, you know, also, as you said, your team is uh, really solid on regaining ground, uh, yourself included, and I'm kind of curious as to what happened in the beginning of that race. Where were you? Um, after the whole shot, and how did you work your way back up? Um, on the whole shot, I think I got a fourth place whole shot, actually. I railed the berm and tried to take the outside, and then uh, everyone cut the berm, and for some reason they decided to take the left side of that first rhythm, so they cut me off. And then I actually got hit by uh, Eddie, obviously not his fault, but because uh, I was still swerving on the first section. Swerve. But then, yeah, I got hit by him. And uh, I was put back in about 8th or ninth, probably, maybe, so I'm probably somewhere around there. And uh, it was a pretty rough first lap, but I just tried to put my head down and keep charging. So, uh, having three guys qualify, even though Mountain Dew isn't here, you're the only team that had uh, three people in this race. So, And they all finished in, in the top eight. Uh, Edward finished in correct. in seventh. Office finished ahead of him, if I'm not mistaken. And you got Office the third place. Was, uh, Office was fifth place. Yeah. Fifth. Okay. Thank you. Um. So so that helps vault, uh, Rockstar, Energy Racing KTM ahead even <laughs> further of of the pack, including the defending champion Soda Pop and his team. Uh, yeah. Robux of Monster Energy Kawasaki. So you're in a really good spot to maybe take the team championship as as long as this keeps up. But Mythic isn't going to be inactive forever. So when he comes back, what what are you guys going to do to make sure that you hold on to your place? Uh, I honestly sense? couldn't. I honestly couldn't be more happy with uh, my team at the moment. All my guys are running really consistent. They're not making a whole lot of mistakes, and if they do, they they can easily recover from it. As as proof from that last race, they all recovered and came back all top eight, as we already said. And uh, I'm just really proud of our guys. And uh, even when Mythic does come back, I mean, I know Jab had a pretty rough race, but we were still able to finish ahead. Even though we had one more guy than them, all of our racers still finished ahead of one of theirs. So I wouldn't... I would expect the same thing out of the next out of the next races as long as we can stay consistent, even when their full team is back up to full strength. I think we can easily still come out on top. 
in your opinion, uh, how important are teams this season? Um, I would say they're just as important as last season, except they uh, obviously have become a little more fair, a little more even because of the uh, draft and the salaries and all that. But uh, I think they're pretty important. Obviously, that three-point bonus is really important um, as seeing how PA finished ahead of me by one point last season because of that three-point bonus. And, you know, it's it's a really big deal, so you got to get out there and uh, your team has to perform well each weekend. That was very well said. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Pancake Muffin, your third-place finisher, winner of race one, and so far has not won again. Gogeta Rules is our only repeat winner, so pan- uh, so I know the Pancake is definitely going to be looking at changing that as soon as possible. Of course. Thank you for coming out to the race and speaking with me, Pancake. Best of luck in race five, and best of luck to the rest of Rockstar Energy Racing KTM as well. Thanks, Jeff. Take care. There we usually only interview the top three. We can have a bonus interview this week, just in case you're uh, wondering what happened to Soda Pop. So, uh, I was just telling people that we usually don't do, uh, anyone outside of the top three, but I'm just curious, uh, to see what happened. Uh, so right now, ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by our final interviewees, X Soda Pop 13X, also known as Just Soda Pop. He's a leader of Monster Energy Kawasaki, the defending champion, and he also defends the team title as well. So he's a... He is defending championships on two fronts, but this race didn't really have the best one that uh, that he was hoping for, and Shazzle didn't really finish all that hot either. Soda Pop, uh, what exactly happened that race? Um, me and Jab just tried to get a really good start, pretty much, but uh, unfortunately. We both wrecked on the first section. I was right next to Jab. Um, I think we were in 11th and 12th. Actually, I think we were in 10th and 11th. I think Real, Real Deal got stuck in the first section. So when I seen that, I was just hoping me and him were going to be able to come back. And um, I was happy to come back to a third. I was trying to get around NJD, but I don't know if it was seen on the stream, but I flipped on the whoops. I never had that issue before, so it was really frustrating for me. But I just tried to at least get third, or not third, fourth, and I tried to catch up to Pancake and NJD, but there was limited time left and I couldn't do it. I'm happy that Jeff came back to an eighth at least, or I think he got eighth at least. Is there or any nine. word on when Mythic is going to be back? He's going to be back. He said, he's, he said he should be back um, by race uh, six. He might be back for race five next weekend, but he said he's not completely sure. Gotcha. Uh, so when he does come back, uh, is is your attitude towards uh, winning races and making sure that your team members qualify the same, or are you thinking about maybe changing some stuff up, telling your guys uh, to maybe race a little bit differently, a little more aggressively? Um... Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to... Um... Yeah, I'm going to try to work with the Jab and Mythic, uh, especially Mythic, because he's been off for three races, so I'm going to try to get him up to date a little bit um, with some, uh, you know, just try to practice with him a little bit with me and Jab, and um, so we can, you know, kind of get back into the groove of racing again, because he's been away for three weeks. I'm just going to try to get him back into the flow, pretty much. Have you considered putting Monster Energy in your gas tank? You think that would help? Um, well, I mean, we did, but, uh, we didn't really, um, perform that well, so, uh, this race, so we're actually getting rid of the Monster Energy Gas. Gotcha. Thanks for, uh, thanks for speaking with me, Soda Pop. Thanks for coming out, and, uh, good luck in race five. Thank you. All right, take care of yourself. That, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our broadcast. We hope that you enjoyed it. And if you're rooting for Gogeta Rules, we know you enjoyed the outcome.
We hope to see you next week for Race 5. And if you're interested in joining HT Supercross or Halotracks.org, uh, you can go sign up on Halotracks and then sign up for HT Supercross by going to our members list topic at Halotracks.org slash HTSX. Reply with sign me up, and then you're on the members list. And then to sign up for races, it's that easy. You reply with sign me up, and you're on, and you get an invite. And if you don't want to race and you just want to watch, we invite you back every week, every Saturday at 3.30 Eastern. The time is being moved back 15 minutes now. It is going to be 3.30 Eastern for some more explosive large-breasted action that only HT Supercross can bring.